let's do another practice match. Oh. I wish I could see the what the map looked like. I might be missing a button somewhere. And let's see, for a character this time. I don't really meddle with oh, Arnell. Arnell's big gimmick is she likes to spy at the top card of the deck. She can always see it with her passive ability, but otherwise has negative 1 defense, 5 HP, 5 recovery time. Depending on what the card at the top is, she gets a benefit. Either 3 attack for an event card, 3 defense for a boost card, or 3 evasion for any other. The idea is you want to keep careful surveillance on the top card of the deck, and depending on the situation, pop your hyper when you need to. I feel like 2 dash might be a good idea, maybe 1 chip damage. Treasure Thief isn't useful. Maybe a Mimic. Always pray to play Presidents and Passionate Research. I also need some event cards. A Scary Solicitation might not be a bad idea, just to burn cards. Here and There isn't bad. Holy Knight is also pretty good. Granted, this entire deck that I have assembled right now is Pell-Mell. We'll see how effective it is. And let's go! This time around, we've got Aru, Mark, and... Elicerone. Fuck. So in other words, expect a lot of dashing. Yay. Well, thinking about it, Aru also has her annoyances, because she just doesn't die. On top of that, Aru can also hold an extra card. Her attack power is everything to sneeze at, but like she needs it. Her big shtick, really, is gimmicking cards. Let's go for a dash. Really? Elicerone is pretty much all movement, especially with her hyper, where she rolls a number, moves a bunch of tiles, and deals damage to everyone she passes along the way. And lastly, there's Mark, who just punches shit. <laughs> That's the simplest thing I could say about Mark. She just punches shit. She could siege a battle. Oh! Intelligence Officer. We already got our uh, trigger card. So now it's just a matter of paying attention to what's at the top of the deck. And currently it's Passionate Research. And it's gone. I'm on fire. So that's a battle card. And... Ugh! Again, it's a battle card, so I think it's just going to grant me evasion. Bit of a shame, but hey, not much you can do there. Oof! Aruska having a rough night. Oh, Hyper! I didn't know if it show hypers like that. Interesting. In that case, I want to filch that. Uh, yeah, it's not in my best interest to stay at home. It's also not in my best interest to fight. I want that hyper. 
next card up at bat is a boost card, so it's going to give me defense. Again, I've never played with Arnell, so I'm kind of just picking up things on the fly. So far, I don't mind this battle style, really. It's very methodical and analytical. Correct. Again, it makes sense, considering the character is an undercover officer, if I remember correctly. Ooh, nice dodge. Card hasn't changed. Egg. Gek! Hello! This is juice! I happen to really like this game. No! <laughs> yeah, I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see, what are, what's her stats? Plus one. Hmm. Just in case. to defend. I wouldn't have had a chance otherwise. Yep, you found the Nomcopter. Congratulations. People really like that one for obvious reasons. Ow! That would do. Oh, this sucks. She's gonna punch me. I think I'm dead. Oh. How am I? Uh, so far okay. Woke up, had some nice coffee, leftover French toast, some bacon too. Tasty breakfast. So far, I'm feeling pretty alert, too, so that's all very nice. And again, I hope you're doing well, too. Seagull Mafia's getting really whipped this round, huh? I was about to replay FF13, it's always streaming. <laughs> Well, you could still probably play FF13 if you wanted to. But if you don't, if you don't mind tuning in, I don't mind either. Happy playing a. Well, I guess we could call it anime Mario Party, but that's a gross misnomer. Orange Juice is very much a friendship tester type game. I can't help but like it, specifically for that reason. I really need to mill that top card of the deck. Because it has been on that dash for a little too long. I need something better than plus defense.
ごきげんよう。Bright side, I do know now that the next three cards, including that dash, aren't pipers. I could guess at what they might be, but that's just gonna be empty. I don't know what they're gonna be. Yes, Ox, we have a Gek, an adorable little Gek. No! I've been numbed to death! <laughs> Alright, thanks for the reminder, actually. I need to ask Thanos about that, uh... The new head. Oh no. So, by that, Ox, I guess you mean you plan to join even though you kinda... ...despise this game. <laughs> now, do I go for the win, Norma? Because sure. I like being funny. And at that, Mark, despite getting a little bit thrashed in the early game, is having a good game. But then again, the Mark life is get thrashed, give thrashings. Case in point. Let's see, Kirk. Oh my god! Why am I inundated with boost cards? I can't! I can't get anything better! <laughs> That's reverse field! That's a tr- uh, And Lonely Chariot isn't great for me. Guaranteed 5 roll is- it sounds good on paper, but the simple fact that you take damage every time you move... Uh, I never like that about a card. I prefer to play a little safer than that. Speaking of safer... Take a slug... And get the defense out. I can tank through it. I'll be fine. Hyper is up next. I might want to commandeer that. But I don't exactly have a great means of getting to a card panel. Because going this way, I'm putting myself in the line of fire for Lee Serone. That's not something I want to do for any stretch of time. Because she punches and punches hard. I guess not this time. Well, I did kind of screw myself. I do need a win. But I don't have a great means of getting wins. Especially since the next card is another fucking evasion card! So you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna have to throw down. Oh! Uh, game? Oh, that was bad. Oh, uh, Ox joining. Okay. So, in that case... No, Ox, don't worry. Everything's fine. And to credit, you won't exactly take up a character until you decide to join the match. If you decide to join this match. 
rainbow uh, colored circle. Really? You are a persistent little bugger. Oh. It's up! <laughs> no, no. Ox, ox, it's fine. It's fine. It's a rare instance when it happens, but yeah. It's just a minute lag. That's it. Let's drop a flamethrower. Hmm. I'm gonna have to. Offload when they use, just in case. Yes! Get me off the wind, Normas. Oh. For a moment I thought she was fighting me. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. At least Savona is having a rough night. And speaking of rough nights... Denied. Try again, Mark. Yeah, it's gonna be in my best interest to do a lot of movement. And filch another card, maybe. Tactical Retreat does have its uses. But really, I'm not exactly getting this card because Tactical Retreat is valuable. So much as I need to see what the next card is. And unfortunately, it's Stiff Crystal, so I'm not getting any benefit. Where are the fucking event cards? Where did they go? Are they at the bottom of the deck or something? Ow. This is trash. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> Scary solicitation. There we go! There's a fucking attack card! Maybe now I could actually punch something! <laughs> Don't. Don't you dare. Ow! You jerk. Double out! You son of a bitch. Okay. Sorry, I expected the worst. I thought the mark was going to use long distance to take me out. And Lost Child is a terrible idea. Essentially, while holding Lost Child, I move in reverse. So instead of moving in along this direction toward Mark, I'd be moving in this direction toward Aru. Not a good idea. In some cases, it can be useful. Not mine. In my case, I just need to collect shit and run. Super All Out mode is the next card. Oh uh, no. So that's two free Win Norma for. Mark, because of her card. When 16x Big Rocket fells a target, she gains Win Normas. Exactly. Be gone! What?
Wow, that was Oh, piggy bank. And thanks for the fluid check. <sighs> Today's fluid choice is, unfortunately, water. Because I'm a cheap bitch. <laughs> Supreme out mode would be good to have. Specifically because I can overbully. And the next card is a vet, too. Here and there. I wasn't expecting to like playing as this character, but I like playing as this character. And no. You can't... You can't. You can't make me. I'm not dealing with that. If it means I get to survive, I would rather flee the battle. Uh, yeah, you know what? Kill me. My body is ready. I wasn't going to survive anyway. That was a six roll, and the highest I can roll meets that. And ties go to the attacker in terms of evasion, so yeah, I, I was dead. Guaranteed. I'll take my whippings. Mark! What are you doing? Such a complicated <laughs> route just to get to a base! Cool. I'm going to try to play and this will make me look like a fool. You'll be fine, Ox. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh uh, boy. Full speed, at least you're on it. Why did you use that? There were Things these CPUs do. Oh, reverse attribute field. Smart play. Couldn't capitalize though. Stiff crystal. So the next star penalty that affects Aru will fail. If anything, Otto's spinning this around. Let's see, next card up at bat is Flamethrower, so I get an evasion boost. Do I go super all out mode? I could stand to gain 10 stars, but that's not much. I'll pop it anyway. Because at least in the long run, it might be worthwhile for me to stay out of a fight. Just so I could stalk the buff and let it, all the others burn theirs. That's two buffs burnt. And if the mark decides to go over there to fight, then that's the third buff burn. Okay, we have Ambush as the card. It's in my best interest not to fight Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for the movement. I could punch her. I'll have to risk it. She's in first place. I need to shut her down. No. Fucking hell. Fine. I tried. But unfortunately, Alice Verona is a very annoying character in some respects. Because she gains evasion for your attack power. 
見て喧嘩しな That also unfortunately means I'm going to need to pop this just so I can survive the attack. It's going to be an evasion buff. But at least plus with plus three evasion, I have a chance at matching her plus three evasion. Easy. And I get a free punch. I am out of tricks though, so. This is gonna be dangerous for me. <laughs> She's down! And Mark is going to try to whip me next. That's a miss. Mark gets butched. Which is both good and bad. I need a card. Unfortunately, it's the assault. I also can't see the top card of the deck because I need my hyper to do it. I didn't have much of a choice but to burn it, so too. That's the unfortunate part. Six. I probably should have stopped the base. Ugh. I don't have any means of taking advantage of President's privilege, so I'm gonna have to let that sit in my hand and stew. A shame, but that's how it's gotta run. Let's stop at home, maybe punch the otter. Oh! That's gonna hurt! We're in the final stages! Three people at level 5 Norma, and I have a barefoot swordsman on my ass. That's not healthy. Oh, that's even less healthy. She's not gonna squish me at all. Okay. Whatever. I'm a little weirded out, but I can make do. I can make do. It's not a great play to fight her. But if that boss whips me, I'm gonna have to risk it. Okay, defend. If I get a one, the match wins in my favor. Mark is just getting punchy. I could fight, but is it in my best interest? I'd argue getting cards is in my best interest. Because the sooner I could recycle the deck, the sooner I could potentially get a hyper. I'm playing for the long con here. I might not need to. Oh, poor otter. And just for humor. <laughs> oh, poor otter. Poor otter. Oh, my. <laughs> That was the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs>